Welcome back to our podcast, and I'm here with my friend Greg DeMarco. My name is Don Gertz, and uh, Greg was having a conversation with uh, one of his coaching clients a while back, and uh, they were talking about criticism and validation. So we thought that would be an interesting topic because oftentimes we don't deal with criticism very well in our personal lives or, or in our business life, and we do like to get validated. And so I guess we should start it off a little bit, you know, with what do we mean when we say criticism and are there, and, and let's just, let's just focus on criticism for the first part there, Greg. So what, what is criticism and how, we, how would you, how would you define it? Yeah. So I define, I define criticism more like constructive criticism. I mean, nobody, nobody really likes the negative feedback we get as far as someone assassinating our character or anything like that. But if we're, if we're getting into feedback from people, and that's really what we're talking about, it could turn into a criticism of, of our efforts or our abilities to, to do a job effectively. I happen to think that it's critical for us to grow. We have to get feedback from a variety of different sources, and that could be our clients, that could be our, our friends, and that could be management, it, it could be anybody. But as long as it's constructive and we have the right frame of mind when we're receiving that kind of information, because I think our egos have a tendency to get in the way and we take it personally. If someone says, you know, I liked you, I, I liked the job you did, but, you know, and then they use that, that word that we all hate, but you know, you could have done this better, or, you know, I think if you displayed it this way, it could have been better. And people take that to heart, right? And I think what we need to do, as long as it's constructive, if it's, if it's helping us grow, that's how I kind of, that's how I kind of look at things is how, is this helping me grow? Is it serving me in, in the sense that I'm, I'm getting better now because I've heard something that I can change if it's not good or, if I hear that it is good and I did a great job, then I need to stick to it. Because so that's how I kind of look at the criticism. I think it's good for us in a lot of ways. Yeah, for me, I I believe that the way that we take the criticism is very dependent on our personality style. And because I know the 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 C style individual has has difficult time with criticism. They they do tend to take it personally. And, you know, the, and the, the D style personality, it would probably just be like water off a duck's back. They, they, they might not, <laughs> yeah. they might they say, yeah, well, you know, okay. You know, somebody criticizes them and they might say, well, you know, you know, I don't give a flying, you know what? <laughs> yeah. You know, literally, literally. Right. So, yeah. but, but I, I believe that, that when we're in business, when we're in sales, we need to set up a system of feedback, you know, that, that works for us. If, if I'm a C type of personality and I am, I don't like, I don't like criticism. I don't like to get criticized because it's, I, I, I take it personally, but I do need, I agree with you. We need to get that feedback from our clients, from people that are, that, that are in the know about what we're doing. So it's, for me, I think it's important that we set up a system of feedback that works for us. And under and I think, I mean, basically you got to understand what your personality style is first before you can really say, okay, this this works for me. Or you got to understand what does work for you. Like how do you feel when somebody criticizes you? And and criticism is it can be like you, you mentioned constructive criticism. You know, just the word criticism sometimes I think puts people over the edge as well. So you might want to, we might want to change our terminology, you know, into instead of saying criticism to say it's feedback, you know, let's, let's give somebody, let's figure out how we can get feedback that helps us grow in our business so that we can get better. Cause that's really what we're looking for. You know, when we say criticize, I think there's a negative connotation automatically in our brain that we, we don't like to be criticized. You know, we say, well, who the heck are you? You know, who are you to, to, to criticize me? You know, like, look at the big, look at the big wart in your face, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's just it. And I agree with you because I think that's, that's how I view it. I view it as feedback and I view it as, okay, can this help me grow? 
And as far as I'm concerned, like if somebody's telling me I'm doing a good job and I presented something well, or I did this or that well, obviously I want to keep doing it. And that means that I'm doing a good job. You know, and likewise, if somebody says, you know, you did good at this, but you know, maybe you could improve the the way you presented that, or maybe you could improve this or that. I have to be able to put my my emotional, my ego aside to say, and look at it very, very honestly and say, okay, is this person right? You know, could this improve? Well, then you take it from there. But it's important for your growth. And if we're all in a growth mindset, like we, we should be really, um, it's only helping us. And in, in the end, it helps serve our clients or the buyers that we're, 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 we're with. That's how I look at it. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree with that. I think that it really it really does. It's easier to 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 look at it from that from your perspective, you know. Maybe when you're when you're have, have been doing it for a while, you know, and, and you recognize it, you know, but for somebody that's new, it can be very difficult. It can be devastating. You know, the if they if they don't get the feedback, if it's not if the feedback isn't delivered properly, you know, they can. I mean, it can knock them right off their game. And particularly, it depends on who's giving it to, you know, you you can get, I think there's power in our words. And we have to recognize that the power in our words goes to what we're saying, but it also goes to what we're hearing. And we can say things to ourselves. We can be our own, we can be our own worst critic as well. So, but it's, I believe that we need to think think about it because if you if you have a system of feedback and a system of accountability in mm-hmm. in your in your business, you know you will grow, but you have to have something that works for you, because and and what works for you might not be necessarily what you like. Uh, <laughs> that's right. That's a good that's a good distinction there. You're right. I because I like I like figuring things out myself. And maybe I do that because I don't like to get feedback from other people because somebody's going to tell me to do something that, you know, that I need to do something that I don't want to do. So I'm stubborn that way. And so it's, it's, I think we have to do something. We have to concentrate and make sure that we are accountable and that what we're doing is measurable because if we're not, if we're not growing, if we're not seeing positive results, we need to make sure that we we make a change. So if you have if you have feedback, let's use feedback, not positive, not not constructive criticism as as the word. Let's say, say if we're getting feedback, and we're we're accountable to that feedback, and then we have we're seeing positive growth, then it's it's helping us. You know, if we're if we're getting feedback that is crushing us, then we're getting the wrong kind of feedback. Yeah. Yeah. I think you, you have to, as like with everything that we do, we need to have a certain amount of perspective on that. For example, I look at it like, you know, who, who's the, who's the person that's giving me the feedback and what are their intentions? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You yeah. know, because that, that does play, a, and for me, that's important because I'm good at, at analyzing personality types. So when I know it's just like you would, and they mentioned to this, if you know their personality type, you can pretty well sort of gauge what, what their intentions are. But that's important because I think that uh, there are people out there to sabotage you, right? We, yep. we all run into them. And there are people there who actually are genuinely trying to help us. Yep. And yes. that's important. Yeah. I, I, think, I think one of the things we got to recognize is that if we have a, if you have a group of friends, Sometimes it's our friends that can sabotage us, you know, yep. because if you, if you have a group of friends and you want to accept or family or family, family, yeah. <laughs> if you, if you have a group of friends and you have an idea that's going to take you from your, where your level of where you are now and take it up here, people don't always want to see you go up there. It's, it's, it's kind of funny. I mean, I, people don't always want to see you successful. So, that's, that's, I think, another key factor in getting feedback is make sure that you're getting feedback from people that care about you, you know, that care about what happens to you. 
You know, it's one thing to get a, you know, fill out a feedback form from a client they have, you know, or somebody that you didn't, didn't do the deal with because you don't, haven't really established a relationship with them. Mm-hmm. But it's another thing to get feedback from somebody that you care about and, and know who's going, who's on your team, like who's on your side, who's actually going, <clears throat> excuse me, who's going to build you up and, 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 yeah. and bring you confidence, you know, yeah. and, and, and that. So getting feedback, getting the feedback from them, I think is more important, but that you don't want somebody that's going to just, you know, say, yeah, you're great. You know, you're a great guy, Greg. Yeah. You know, just keep doing what you're doing. You know, you want somebody to give you honest feedback, but that, that's feedback, right. that feedback has to be relevant. And I think it has to be positive. Yeah. I think that, I think you're, you're, you're bang on with that assessment because listen, we all have to go into these things with the good intentions. Right. So what we're trying to do is if, if you like, go, you should be just trying to improve yourself. And by doing that, when you get positive feedback, that's what you're doing. But the sub by the second, on the, on the other hand of that is what you just said is understanding the types of people that are helping us to grow or are they not helping us to grow? And that comes down to who's in our inner circle. Who do we trust? you know, implicitly with, with our feelings, with our, with our life and, you know, in helping us grow. I think of, I was thinking about a, I was trying my, my hand at, at starting some seedlings from my garden earlier this year and starting growing them inside. And one of the things that seedlings can do is they can get leggy. They call them leggy. They just grow really, really fast. And they don't, they don't grow any, any substance to them and they, they won't survive outside when you put them outside. But I found one of the interesting things that they, they want is, is they say they need to have some wind blowing on them so that, so that they have some resistance, so they can build up resistance against the wind. And I think that's, that's important in our, in our life as well, is that we don't grow, we don't get stronger if there's no resistance, you know, so there's, there has to, like we talk about stress in our life and stress usually is a negative term as well, just like criticism or can be, but stress is positive and we need stress in our life. Otherwise we don't grow and and get stronger because it's, it's, that's the resistance. That's the tension in our life. So, but I think we should, you know, that, that kind of segues into the, the other topic of validation. Yeah. You know, so validation is there's what is validation? You know, is validation having somebody tell you, yes, you're wonderful. But you're right. It, it does lead into validation. And I work with a lot of uh, people that actually validation is a problem for them in the sense that it's like they, they have to have validation and it becomes a bit of an obsession, which kind of destroys the work that they're doing to a certain extent. But what there, there is a healthy validation that we need to get so that we can build our confidence, I think. And confidence is developed. I don't think it's just something we conjure up. Confidence is developed, and we develop confidence through taking action. That's how we kind of develop. So when we want to, when we want to gain more confidence, we have to do something that gives us a little bit of a win, you know, and we get validation from, we get validation and then that helps build our confidence. And I think validation is an important part of, of that. As long as we keep it in check, I think it's like that old saying, you know, everything has to have balance, you know, and, and we have to, you know, we just have to keep things in balance. We don't want too much validation, but want enough to keep ourselves in check and, that we can build our confidence. I, I get validation. Uh, I think that's one of the areas that I struggle with is is with validation. And in what I, way do you what way do you mean you you struggle with it? Str- I struggle with it because I think I need it. And I think everybody I, needs validation. Yeah, yeah. But I, I I seek it out a little too much. I don't really seek it out. But I desire it too much. I think would be what I would what I would say is that's, and, that's your S personality. Is it my S? Yeah, yeah. I think so. <laughs> yeah, but I I want to be I want to know that what I'm doing is is good. 
you know, that w- the work that I do, I want, I want to know that the work that I do is, is good and it's, and it's appreciated. And I think everybody wants that, you know, and, and that's, I think something for a manager or for, well, anybody, I, I shouldn't, we shouldn't just say managers or, or, or bosses or whatever. It's important for us to give feedback as validation to the people that are in our life, you know, that so that they know that they're valuable to us as, as, as a person, because people can demean, demean somebody, you know, like my, my little comment there about, you know, the way you looked, you know, like you and I, have, you know, I, you and I have been friends for a while and, and we can joke about stuff like that, but somebody else might, might take that real personally. And, yeah. and that, that, is is a form of invalidating somebody you know where where i'm i'm demeaning you know i'm i'm saying it in a demeaning way but but we need to we need to recognize that our 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 words have power our words have the power of lifting of validating of and they also have the the power to destroy people yep. and uh i think that's all part of validation so i believe that all of all of us, all mankind, all human beings have value, and that they they have you know they have an inherent value. Some of like sometimes it's it's somebody's lost their way or whatever, and you know they run across hard times, and people can look down on them, but we shouldn't be looking down on them because they are a human being and they have value, and that is that is validating, I think, to somebody that we recognize that they do have worth as a human being. And uh, that's the very basic of it. To me, that's, that's, that's how I believe it. And, but I think so, it's so easy to see what somebody's doing and to, if we don't like it or if we don't, if, we're, if, we're, if we want to put them in their place, say, for example, you know, you've heard that, I put, her in, put them in their place, you know, we can, we can invalidate them so easily by, by saying things or by acting a certain way, you know, not not acknowledging that they are, you know, uh, worthy of, of of respect and yep. and value. So there's there's different levels of validation, just as there's le- different levels of feedback. There's different levels of validation. So I think we have to be careful about where we're getting our validation from, you know, because if we're if we're compromising ourselves and our integrity to get validation, then that's that's not that's not a good that's not good but if we're if we are set if we set up a system of feedback that validates what we've done then i think that's that's healthier yeah yeah i agree that's a good i like what you just said there and i think that i think it's healthy i i, I really do in a lot of ways and i think as you sort of pointed out People can get, I don't know, it's a self-image thing, I think. And ones that really push for validation for the wrong reasons uh, tend to get lost in, in the validation instead of what they really need to do, which is, it's, it's valid, getting validation from people is an important thing for, for your own confidence and value to know and understand what your value is and what your strengths are. And I think that goes a long way with doing a better job and serving others, especially if we're talking in the sales arena. And, you know, we need to understand where that's coming from, from ourselves and understanding the different personalities that we're, that we're, we're dealing with and, and who, who is it that is trying to help us in getting further ahead or, you know, who is it? Yeah. I, I think it's, yeah, I, I agree with you. I think it's important for us to recognize who, I, I also think it's important to recognize that each person is validated in different ways. Right? Yeah. So the D type of personality, they're, they're validated when they get wins, you know, so they got to win. Yeah. That, that's, that's their validation. The C type of personality is validated when what they're working on is recognized as being good. You know, the, the, the I personality style is validated when you like them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. That is so true. The S, the S personality is, is validated when they're, when they feel safe. So there's everybody, you know, the, the validation is, is 
different requirement, I think, for for everybody. So how do we how do we do that in our in our daily life? You know, like as salespeople, recognize. I think as salespeople, as business people, we need to know that we have a feedback system that validates us. We need need to know that we have a an accountability system that keeps us on track, and we need to have a way of a system, a personal growth system that, that sets us up. So, yep, no, I agree. I think it's a good topic. Back and validation are important things to talk about and understand. So, yep, I agree. Well, I, I've enjoyed talking to you the, today, Greg, you're in Calgary, you said, and I'm in visit, Calgary today. Yep. Visiting your daughter and uh, see the you, fish. I see the <laughs> fish. Yeah. Yeah. Are you getting any of the rain that we're getting here in BC yet or? No, it's just sunny here. It's, it's always sunny here. Where you are, it's always rainy. So yeah, we got an atmosphere. <laughs> we we've gone through a drought in our summer, but it's we're 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 getting an atmospheric river this week. So we haven't had something like this for a long time. But we got about five days of solid rain. So there you go. Yeah. Anyway, it's been good talking appreciate to you, it. and uh, appreciate your time. So thanks everybody, and make sure you like and subscribe if you like and subscribe us. And uh, let us know if you have any questions that you'd like us to talk about. So thanks. Thank you.